Hi everyone and welcome to today's painting tutorial where I'll be taking you through how I paint the eyes you might have seen on my Lumineth Realm Lords miniatures and perhaps some of my Stormcast Eternals as well. Now I know there are a few tutorials on eyes but I have had a few requests for this one and also how I add the reflective lighting on the pupil as well. So to start out with we're just going to be doing a base coat of any black acrylic paint will do. Uh, for this one, though, I'll be using the model color black from Vallejo. And I'm just using a quite a small no-name brush that I got off eBay. Which will do just fine for the base coat of the black. And now I'm going to be moving on to a base coat of Dead White by Vallejo. Again, though, it really doesn't matter. Uh, what acrylic white or black you use. I just personally like the consistency of the paint for the Vallejo range uh, when it comes to the white paint especially. And as you can see I've maneuvered the miniature so that it's in a comfortable position for me to get the eye the way that I want it to look. And now with my Raphael size 1, 8404. I'm going to be applying the pupil. Now generally I like to aim at the top of the eye to begin with and then work vertically downwards. And with this step, just be as careful and as patient as you possibly can be, as it is a lot easier to get it right the first time, as opposed to continuously going back and correcting it. Now at this point, I actually was pretty happy with how the eyes looked, but I wanted to take it one step further and add a little bit of reflective lighting. So just with some of my white, and the smallest amount on the brush, I'm just going to be placing a very small dot on the eye. And as you can see, it was a little bit too large, but instead of editing out the mistake, I wanted to show you guys how you can correct this if this happens for you as well. So just going back to my black now, and ever so carefully, just on the left hand side, just going to correct it like that. And that is how I paint eyes. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today and I will see you in the next one.